Hi, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson. Lauren Marcinkowski, representing Seven Days of Giving, drops by today's show to explain the meaning and mission of their campaign. Lauren, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about Seven Days of Giving. So we are featuring seven charities over the course of seven days, June 1st through 7th, a lot of sevens. Um, and this is a campaign that's asking for micro donations from the community. So when you say micro donations, what are you, what are you speaking of? So um, at that definition, it's a donation under the value of $25. We're going to be asking for donations in increments of three, five, and ten dollars. And then, obviously, if you want to give more, you have the option. But we aren't, we aren't going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> and that's probably important for people to realize that even a little from a lot of people can do great things. Exactly, and that's what we're out to prove to our community. If we all come together and just give up Starbucks for a couple of days right? We can come together to do big things for these charities. Yeah, that's wonderful. So uh, tell us about the seven participating charities, So, who they are. Yeah, so we, we stretch throughout the coastal empire and low country. So we have the Mighty Eighth Air Force Museum in Pooler, um, Employability in Savannah. We have the Chatham Authority, Chatham Savannah Authority for the Homeless. Faith Equestrian Center, mm -hmm. the Agape Center in Hardyville, mm -hmm. and then here in Hilton Head we've got the Palmetto Ocean Conservancy and Pockets Full of Sunshine. Very nice. And so how can people from the communi community participate with the seven days of giving? Well, obviously, first and foremost, we need donations. Mm -hmm. So they can go to the seven days of giving website, which is sevendaysofgiving.com. Um, all seven of our charities are up there. There's a little donate now button. It's very simple. So they're able to actually choose the charity they prefer to Correct. give to. And if they want to yes. give to all of them, they can do that too. Exactly. You got it. So, but the other thing we really need is for people to go like our Facebook page or Instagram. The more we share about this, this program, the better. Obviously, okay. we want to get this message out to the community. It needs to go viral. So you can go visit our Facebook page. We're on Instagram and Twitter and tweet, post, get the message out there. Yeah. And so how did you, how did you choose your geographic area? Um, honestly, we looked at um, really what the media covers, to be honest, mm -hmm. that coastal empire area. Mm -hmm. um, and we wanted to cast a wider net to, to reach as many people as possible, because obviously we talk about people to coming together, right. but the more people that hear about it, the bigger, you know, the bigger the message is that we can come together. And so, uh, is it hard being in two states? Does it make it difficult, you know, Georgia and South Carolina, and then of course having to choose is right. probably even more difficult? I mean, it, it is a little bit of a challenge, but my real hope is that everybody gets involved this year so that next year we can split it and really do big things for both communities. Yeah, yeah. And so who is the company sponsoring this campaign? It's a company called Later Pay. They are a website that actually facilitates um, payment platforms okay. for either digital content or, you know, um, uh, excuse me, charities like this for donations. So And so uh, Seven Days of Giving, as far as what has it done in the past? This is it. This is this the is first one. This is the first one. one. Yes. So we're starting it brand new. Yep, so we really need to go in there we and do. make an impact so that yes. following years are, or continuing years will be really successful. Exactly. Yes. And if people <clears throat> are interested to find out more information or you know, just kind of get a feel for the organizations, what's their best way to do that? If you go to that website, mm -hmm. seven days of giving. And we will com. have that on the screen. Yes, perfect. Um, then each of the charities is listed there and, and from there you can click through to their website and get all the details about what they do. Terrific. Thank you so much for joining Thank us, you Lauren. For and me. thanks for all you're doing um, with with this uh, with this event. Thank you. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town. <laughs> 